Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Muslim do kids? I hope you're doing well today. Inshallah, this is Sister Maha. I will be with you two days a week on Monday and Wednesday. On Monday, we will be talking about the story of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And on Monday, different topics. Inshallah, we will have two winners each week on Monday and Wednesday. The winner will have $20 uh, gift card from Dollarama. Okay, how to, uh, today's uh, story is about Abraha and the, the elephant. Uh, how to participate in the game? First, you need to provide two devices. The first two device is your mobile, and the, to, so you can listen to me, and the other one to join the, the game itself. I will keep repeating these steps because, uh, mashallah, each time new people are uh, coming, so, uh, so you can follow up. Okay. Open your browser, uh, write this address, join.neopod.com. Again, join.neopod.com. Uh, this page will open. It will ask you for, a, for the code. I will give you the code, inshallah. It's on the top left for the, uh, in this page, UH32M. Once you enter the code, it will ask you for your name. Write, please, your uh, full name. Then this page will appear waiting for me to start the game. After that, when I start the game, you can choose the character that you would like to uh, play with. You will get used to this program, inshallah, be ready each time, opening your knee pod, waiting for the code to join. We will wait only two minutes. Write the address, nearpod.com join.nepod.com, then the code, it's UH32M. Then write your name and choose the character. Are you ready? One minute more. Okay, let's start. Still, you can join us. Let's change the view today. Okay, choose your character. Wow, we have Mariam Ahmed, we have Noor, Lam Lamra, Ali, Ziad Ahmed. Waiting for more participants. Now Tasneem, MashaAllah, now Hamza. So again, open your browser, write join.nearpod.com, then enter the code UH32M, every letter is capital, and choose your character. Just one minute. Should I start? Okay, let's go. Are you ready? First question. What is the qibla that we have to face when we pray? Which mosque? Nice. Amazing. 
MashaAllah to the Kaaba. Next question. To which Prophet did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the order to build the Kaaba? Man huwa nabi alladhi amarahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi bina il Kaaba? Al Kaaba. Is it Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Ibrahim, and his son Ismail, Prophet Musa, Prophet Isa? Yes, excellent, mashaAllah. It's Prophet Ibrahim and his son Ismail, alayhim as-salam. Next question. People used to do Hajj to Allah's house, the Kaaba, in the time of Ibrahim, peace be upon him, even before the birth of Prophet Muhammad. Nas kanu yahjuna ila al-bayt al-haram fi ahdi Sayyidina Ibrahim qabla wiladat Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. True or false? Maryam Ahmad is ahead, then Tasneem, then Ziyad Ahmad, then Hamza. Yes, it's true. MashaAllah, because Ibrahim السلام, who built the Kaaba and Allah ordered him to do call for Hajj. Our Prophet وسلم, was born in the year of Wali the Rasul وسلم, fi am -e. By the way, look at the pictures, it will help you. Because the incident of uh, of destroying the Kaaba was in the same year when the Prophet Muhammad was born. Okay, we call it by this name because of the incident of destroying the Kaaba by the bad king named what? What is the name of the king? نسميها بهذا الاسم بسبب حادثة تدمير الكعبة الشريفة من قبل من قبل الملك السيء اسم إيه الملك السيء ده ها huh. yes أبرها okay why did أبرها want to destroy the كعبة لماذا أراد أبرها أن يهدم الكعبة take care of the options you can choose one that can choose two He, he built, built a, a, a ma'bad so to let people come and worship in his uh, worship Allah in his uh, ma'bad but uh, everyone was going to the Kaaba and also some of the Arabs came to the Kaaba and did poo in it okay so he got so mad and decided to form a huge army of what and head toward the Kaaba to destroy it. غضب لذلك غضبا شديدا وقرر أن يكون جيشا عظيما من واتجه إلى الكعبة ليهدمها. جيش من إيه؟ مكون من إيه؟ Still we have Mariam Ahmed, then Ziad Ahmed, Hamza, Muhammad, Tasneem, Ali, Lamra, and Noor. Yes, excellent, ما شاء الله. Soldiers and elephants. Huge elephants. Next question. When Arabs heard of his coming, they tried to fight him in his way to Kaaba, but they what? Did they win or lose? Or they didn't fight at all? What did they do? Now we have Ziad Ahmad, then Mariam Ahmad, Hamza Tasneem, Muhammad. Yes, MashaAllah. They, unfortunately, they were defeated by Abraha's army. Next question. Before entering Mecca, a soldier from Abraha's army stole the camels off whom قبل دخوله إلى مكة استولى أحد جنود أبرها على جمال مين. They he stole the camels off whom? Did Abdullah, Abdul Muttalib, Abu Talib, Abu Lahab, the leader of Quraysh, the grandfather of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. Yes, أحسنت ما شاء الله Abdul Muttalib, the leader of Quraysh. Next question. 
Why did Abdul Muttalib go to meet Abraha? لماذا ذهب Abdul Muttalib إلى أبرها? To beg him not to destroy the Kaaba or to ask for his camels or to fight him or to swear at him? Which option? Which? Why did he go to meet Abraha? He didn't go to uh, tell him stop destroying the Kaaba. He went asking for his camels. Next question. Uh -huh. Abraha was shocked that Abdul Muttalib asked for his camels. Abdul Muttalib answered, he said, the Kaaba has its Lord that will protect it. صدم أبرها من سؤال عبد المطلب عن جماله فرد عبد المطلب بأن البيت له رب يحميه. Is that true or false? He said, I'm the owner of all the camels, and the bait, the Kaaba, has its lord. He will protect it. أحسنتم ما شاء الله. True. Next question. Okay, Abdul Muttalib asked people to, of Quraysh to Talab Abdul Muttalib min ahli Quraysh and what? To fight Abraha, to run away and hide in the mountains, to, to do what? He's standing on a mountain, by the way. I mean, this can give you a hint. Yes, Ahsantu Allah. He asked them to run away and hide in the mountains. Okay, did the elephants move and destroy the Kaaba? Hal taqaddamat al fiyala wa hadamat al Kaaba? Yes or no? You see, they are trying to push the elephant and he's refusing to go ahead toward the Kaaba. When they move him or uh, it uh, right, he moves uh, right, and when they move him left, they, he moves, but toward the Kaaba, he uh, just froze or freeze. Next, next question. Okay, Allah protected his house by sending birds with stones from the hellfire. حفظ الله بيته بإرسال الطيور المحملة بحجارة من نار جهنم. Is that true or false? We still marry him. Ahmed bin Ziyad, Ahmed bin Ali, Isneem, Hamza. Yes, it's true. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-qawi, al-qadir. He sent birds and protected his house. Last question. We learned from this story that Allah is the most powerful. Ascending min hadhi al-qissa anna Allah huwa al-qawi wa al-qadir ala kulli shay. Agree or disagree? I think you answered already. Yes, we agree. Ahsantum, mashaAllah, tabarakallah. The winner today is Maryam Ahmad. Congratulations, Maryam. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Inshallah, we will meet again on Wednesday, continuing talking about the, uh, the pillars of Islam. Uh, uh, everyone will be a winner, inshallah, one day. Uh, congr congratulations to Maryam, and see you next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.